All right, so I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Please answer honestly. Okay. Please raise your hand if you are constantly lacking sleep. W wait, wow, really? You, you guys are a lot healthier than I thought you would be. Now I can confidently say that we all love sleeping. It replenishes your energy and wipes away fatigue, and really, there's no better feeling than sleeping in on the weekends and hitting your snooze button like, I don't know, 40 times. And also, by being asleep, you're unconscious, and therefore have temporarily escaped the obligations and responsibilities of daily life by entering the dark and nocturnal void. Wait, what? <coughs> sleep is great, but for some godforsaken reason, when it actually comes to going to bed, our brains go from this... <sighs> I'm pretty sure that I have the same conversation with my brain every night. Okay, so brain, you and I both have to get up early for school tomorrow, so let's get plenty of rest. Now, repeat after me. Let's go to bed so that we can recharge your energy and wake up early tomorrow. Let's go to bed. Nice. So we can go on our phone and watch wait, videos no, and scroll no, through social no, media wait, until no, 4 no. That was basically my life in high school. Having the time of my life at like 2 a.m. Looking at memes or playing video games or watching music videos. Then crashing and falling asleep at an ungodly time. Then dragging myself to class looking like a tired and dying animal. You know that thing that you do when you're falling asleep in class and your head like falls forward or backwards and you jolt awake and you save yourself from falling over? I was so tired one day that I didn't even have that jolt reaction. I just sort of kept falling. So there I was, leaning back in my chair, and you know my eyes were getting that heavy feeling, your body gets all warm, like your tiredness is just forming a blanket of comfort around you, and you slowly start to fall asleep. So yeah, that's what I was doing, and then that's when my head just decided to suddenly tilt back, and it happened so quickly, it was like my spine just didn't suddenly exist. And while falling, my head knocks down the water bottle of the girl sitting behind me. Luckily, it was closed, so there wasn't a spill, but oh my god, if it was. Could you imagine if I just spilt water all over this girl and her textbooks while unconscious? I probably wouldn't be able to handle that level of embarrassment. Probably start sweating a lot, maybe turn kind of red. Even though my skin is like really dark, so it'd be like a strawberry chocolate ice cream kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, luckily there was no spill. But it made a loud crashing noise so everyone was looking at me. Cause you know, metallic water bottle plus slamming against concrete floor equals probably not the stealthiest or quiet noise. And the worst part was, even after all of that, I was still very sleepy. So I managed to wake up after my head hit the bottle, but instead of apologizing right after due to my half-awake brain, I sort of just stared at her for some reason. And then she stared back at me, and then it was just a silent stare. But then, after like two seconds, my brain finally caught up and I was like, wait, I'm an idiot. And then I started apologizing profusely. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's, it's smooth. I know. But seriously, could you imagine what it was like from her perspective? You're just casually taking notes in history class, and then suddenly an unconscious Asian boy falls out of his chair and knocks over all your shit! Basically, sleepiness plus decisions to be made equals probably not a good time. So, um, here's more examples of that! Another time, one day after school, me and my older cousin pull up to McDonald's, and we are ready to grab some burgers. And by the way, the previous night, I had pulled an all-nighter, and the night before that, I think I went to bed at like 5 a.m., but I had to wake up at 6. For those of you that don't know, one hour of sleep can actually be more exhausting than not sleeping at all. If you're already sleep deprived, then only sleep for a single hour, then wake up again, you're not going to feel refreshed, you're probably gonna feel like you have even less of a will to live than before, so yeah. An all nighter, then one hour of sleep, with no naps. Basically I'm operating with 4% of my brain functioning. Maybe. Maybe 4%. So my cousin gets his food, then goes to sit down. Then it's my turn to order. I have 4% of my brain functioning, bloodshot eyes, eye bags, and my consciousness is drifting into another dimension, and I'm about to order food. Now before we got into the restaurant, I already knew I was very tired and probably incapable of interacting with other human beings. So to prepare for this, I rehearsed my order in my head like 30 times, just so I could get it perfectly right when I got to the cashier. Okay. All I need to do is act naturally. <laughs> Can I get a McChicken meal? McChicken meal. Miaru. Miku chicken uda. Can I get a McChicken meal? Hey Bob, can I get a Can I get a McChicken? Can I Can I get a McChicken meal? It is McChicken my meals. Uh
But by the time that I actually got to the cashier, I just blanked. Like my brain just flatlined. So I just stared at the cashier and instead of actually ordering, I just gave him my debit card without ordering any food. There was no exchange of words. I just walk up to the counter and then bam, here's my debit card. This dude is now looking at me like I just grew an arm out of my head. Probably thinks I'm a pothead or something. But then again, my eyes are bloodshot and I was kind of... Okay, I can see where he was going, but still. You see, what happened is I was focusing so hard on rehearsing what I was going to say and repeated it so much in my head that I had convinced myself that I already ordered. That I like somehow telepathically sent the cashier what sandwich I wanted, which is why it looked like I just gave the cashier my debit card for no apparent reason. So after the cashier gives my debit card back in confusion, uh, sir, you haven't ordered anything yet. I tried for the second time to order my food, this time actually using my mouth and the English language, hopefully. <clears throat> it's not my fault McDonald's doesn't accept psychic messages. <laughs> so I try ordering again, but this time I start stuttering, which actually wasn't that bad. Stuttering is a totally normal and common thing, but due to my lack of motor skills and how tired I was before ordering the one thing that I wanted, I list off two completely different burgers instead. Hello, welcome to McDonald's, how may I help you? Hey, Mr. Burger Man. I'd like to order one... One... McChicken meal. You want to order a McChicken meal. A beef quarter pounder. Wait, no. And a Mc... You're almost there. A, a, Mc, a Mc -cha Big Mac. Uh, why? And a McChicken meal. Nailed it. No, you didn't. So yeah, after that horrendous 30 seconds of attempting to order and speak English, I finally get my food and walk over to my cousin's table with like four sandwiches and a mountain of fries. No regrets! Kind of. I'm pretty sure lack of sleep kills brain cells or something not good for your body and you probably shouldn't do it a lot. Uh... So after finishing all of my food, my cousin drops me off and I get hit with a brutal food coma because as soon as I got home, I made eye contact with the couch and I basically just lost consciousness. I'll make another video about college onliners and how much uh, worse they were, but also hilarious in another video. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope I will see you in the next video. Peace.